What's up YouTube, this is Danny Draghi with another Mirror 4 video where I discuss a few key binding options to improve your experience in the game. I just want to take a second to apologize about the video quality of the past few videos. Running two clients, I try to conserve as much RAM and memory as possible for web browsing, streaming, and video editing, so I always have the graphical settings to a minimum. I was going to set the graphics back up to max settings to record a video, but then I got high. So I really have not been doing justice to one of the highest quality blockchain games that is currently playable right now in terms of graphical fidelity, because this really is a beautiful game. The default setup has you using abilities with 1 through 6. I personally hate this layout due to how much you have to stretch your hands. Also, having to take your hand off your movement keys in order to use abilities, or your eyes off of the screen to make sure you're hitting the right key can mean the difference between life or death. Unfortunately, I can't find any keys to my mouse buttons, which is strange for an MMO. Another complaint I had since starting the game is that the first skill in the number one slot is on the right side of the screen, with the number two on the left of that and so on. This is probably great for cultures that read from right to left, but if you read from left to right, this can really confuse the hell out of your brain in the middle of a fight. This can easily be changed by hitting the plus menu and selecting the systems options in the bottom right. The fourth tab should say PC system and allow you to change your key bindings. Ignore some of the other ones that I have for now and yours should say use skill slot 1 is 1 and 2 is 2 and so on. You want to change these six skills to the reverse order so that skill slot 1 is actually 6 and 2 is 5 and so on. And that lines up nicely with your keyboard with the ability images on the screen. Now, you could call it a day there, subscribe to the channel and like the video, but if you want to get down and dirty, and I mean really nasty with the customization, we can go a bit farther. Just remember our safe word at the top right of the screen is reset. At the time of recording this, I wasn't sure what to do with the bounce for airwalk and default attack, but after practicing with the new ability layout, I went with the N key for Nancy for bounce and left alt for attack. I wanted all of my abilities as close as possible to my movement keys for comfort because I'm lazy as fuck so I mapped the Q and the E abilities to my heels on one bar and the quells on another to set up my bash combos. The reason why it's E and Q instead of Q and E is so that the Q ability will be on the left and the E ability will be on the right which corresponds with the Q and the E key on your keyboard. Next I have R and F for the third and fourth ability. On my healing skill bar, I have utility abilities and my bashes on the attack skill bar. Finally, I have X and Z for buffs on the healing bar and non-bash damaging abilities on the attack bar. Again, they are backwards to match the layout of the abilities on the screen. I've remapped my ultimate ability to the letter C as in Charlie, and now I change slots with the left control key. I set auto combat to B for battle bot and auto gather to Y. Why Y, you may ask? Because it is next to T, and T stands for treasure. Anyway, I eventually changed my potion slots to 1, 2, and 3. For some reason, these are not backwards. So even if I did read from right to left, would it go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 8, 7? I guess that's one way to count. I changed the quick slot to tilde next to the 1 and combat settings to K as in mortal combat settings. I also made U my clan menu, I for my equipment or inventory, M for map, P for party, L for quest log, and H for horse or hog. These are game changers. When you quickly need to donate or collect gifts from your clan or change to another map, 
It's much easier to use keyboard shortcuts like this, and it's much harder to remember the order of the F1 keys. Don't forget about gather, which is T for treasure. I don't like empty keybinds, so I went ahead and made your home key to display hotkeys. One side note is that I haven't figured out a good keybind yet for target up and target down. In hectic fights, I do like to use the list targeting. By hitting the tab key, it shows a list of enemies and I have to actually select only players and click on the correct player. But it would be much easier if I could develop a system where I could quickly scroll up and down through the list and then execute my abilities or auto attack on the correct targets. It would be perfect if I could put these on my mouse keys like I said before. Hopefully I could figure something else to do with my left hand in order to change those targets. Well, those are all the tips I have on keybinds. It will take a few days to get adjusted to this crazy new system depending on how long you have been playing, but I can assure you that your left hand will thank me once you do. One way to express your thanks would be by pressing that like button and subscribing to the channel as it really does help me out. The keyboard shortcut for that is to hold down the Alt key and press F4. Let me know your key bindings in the comments if they are different or any suggestions or feedback you may have. Thank you for watching this video, YouTube. I believe in miracles. You sexy thing.